हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम इट्स सेवनटीन ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर अक्विक आर्ट वीडियो फ्यू आर्ट्स रिकमेंडेड बाय मेंबर्स सो आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग इट अ क्विकली ब्रीफ ऑन बिटकॉइन इफ यू सा माय लास्ट वीडियो दिस वाज लास्ट मंडे लो दिस वन नॉट टुडे व्हिच डे इट इज it is thursday or wednesday it is wednesday today the last uh, uh, monday lo we had two plans to either retest yearly open and long till here in this h1 supply or flip this zone and go up so i on twitter i already posted this and when this thing was happening i posted a tweet as well that focus on plan 1 so i took a small long of 1.2 r it was now 1.9 1.92 or it was so yes then i thought uh, i uh, a bit of uh, i hold it here that it might flip and go up but uh, it didn't happen why it didn't happen i will show you here uh, so what i'm expecting and what's going on this is the chart everyone knows so <laughs> we have e yearly open here this is m15 order block so small ms msb i marked but it didn't give me an msb yet no candle closer if if you check h4 mm, h4 there will be nothing okay look no uh, proper candle h4 closes above it has to go up then then i i should have um, kept this msb in business but, but right now it is not working so i am focused on day trades only quick scalps in out yesterday we took this one and this is h1 bearish order block this one so it has to um, go down and yes it uh, did go down from here slowly it is bleeding right now i'm not uh, pretty sure whether bitcoin is going to this order block or this one so better will be i will wait i marked h4 order block from this zone this uh, previous order block so better i i am waiting for like something like come here down and then go up that will be a possible good scenario and this is my whole range and i will target 0.5 here so for ranging h4 should be above where like if h4 closes below or it is going down then this range will be invalid until unless you can if price coming down to these levels you can long according to market structure whatever strategy you have in this zone watch for longs and you have clear invalidation close below range low the target will be this one 45198 this is your target and you can target this bearish order block as well here h4 but this will be a good target if we uh, i'm looking for uh, to risk scalp something like below something like if i catch something here with clean little invalidation so i will target now this zone because the h1 supply supply is uh, this supply zone is absorbed so no need of fearing of this supply now so yes you can target this one as one as as tp1 and tp2 will be this one so 8% move 3.23 r or 4 r trade it will be it is good so we have internal liquidity also here so this liquidity will be hunted sooner or later this will be hunted so yes best scenario will be to sweep range low reclaim it that will be a good long and then target this one and in case volume came in and like uh, we are going up again those ct bullishness or something good happened then we can go up other than that this uh, zone this one i will mark it for you that don't be too silly things here in this zone so if you catch a long here and price is reaching to these levels if price reach to this level 
then offload your longs here that will be your danger zone so npuc also i think here lying here yes npuc is also here so don't uh, fuck your longs in this zone just cap key everyone is trying a long here with tight and validations but look at these wicks and this is because of this bearish order block here so they are absorbed it properly now i think a bit of small it is 429 so we have a uh, kind of two and a half hour to till new york open maybe we saw a good push today on new york open so i'm hoping for a push up here so if uh, this problem first case if this happened here that is my that will be my like good trade but if uh, price uh, if i see on m15 this one this order block didn't test it yet so that is a risky one but uh, risky one yes it is risky but you can try along here with a let me check like something like this if price came down here and this will be a something this something like this but uh, there's a risky one so i will avoid because there is a trend line in building also so yes this trend line is also acting as a support here now if i see <coughs> if i give you another plan that would be like something like this come here tap demand and go up whoop retest and then that that zone that retest will be a good uh, entry zone and if you see a uh, important levels here so yes we have two important levels as well and let me clear it out all things now now intraday plan i will be looking for long here like we have yearly open yearly open now two two three things came down here so it will be something like this you can place bids here and stop will be here this one and you can target previous week open good rr or safe if you want to play safe wait here if price came down breach it down that yearly open and previous day low, uh, previous day low and then it goes up on retest that is a confirm long with a confirm invalidation point so this one intraday long and you can target previous day high our previous week open both are good targets both are good targets with high rr so yes this is intraday plan for today i will look for this plan and if price didn't accept here and it goes down then that will be previous week low sweep here give me some bullish structure then that will be a swing long towards 45k until then i will wait i will wait properly no rush no rush yet for me now coming back uh, to altcoins which is basically first altcoin is our eth ethereum as i said uh, i have already given i had already given this trade uh, to i cancelled bid but i will place these bids again so here is uh, look at these bids 26 21 was my uh, bid here on short so it missed i feel like if bitcoin plan one played out so it will also go up i will short this in like in this zone same if you saw my previous video then you know that what uh, what does what i'm trying to do here so right now no tension no uh, nothing i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting puc is there so yes i will short in this zone i will try a short with the 2666.5 and 2621.5 these are my two entries stop loss is above 2721 and i'm targeting yearly open 2284 
or 2285 good rr it is 6.9 or maybe around 5.5 or 5 or 3 it is so i am betting it yesterday night it popped up but uh, it didn't take my bids i don't know why h2 fpg is also here so yes i'm still waiting for it mm, and uh, on higher time frame if you see that on h4 on h4 on daily yes it is daily levels so this is a range we have this 0 1 0 0.5 and 1 this is equilibrium level so yes it didn't tap yet uh, <coughs> 0 0.5 level so this range is valid until unless it it absorbed this then the new range will start continuing here so i'm expecting it to go up here a fill bit and then come at least towards 24 42 level and if it breached down i will book some here and if it this level breached down then yearly open is my target and the main target is my yearly open until unless i'm waiting on it Another alt uh, which is I placed bids here. <laughs> it is very gone. BNB. BNB, BNB, BNB. If you show. Okay. So, yes. Uh, let me mark it as a bullish order block. It is my bullish order block at four here. yes so now uh, two internal liquidities are lying here this is uh, if you saw that this is h4 demand here this is my bullish order block uh, here higher time frame then price came back towards this creating internal liquidity bang boom and above internal liquidity then price came down here giving us a, a msb here but it didn't flip this supply rejected swept these lows again give us these uh, small msb rejected from 0 0.5 here and now my bids are around 306 level my like three tap structure is here one two three three tap so it is bullish structure in bullish order block so my plan for bnb is to come and take me up with you my stop is a bit closer here 298 is my stop 306 is my entry it's a dangerous danger entry and exact i don't know maybe i should have kept this but then rr is not lookability so i'm expecting it to go up here to hunt this liquidity and this range break this range give me deviation here that will be oh what the fuck what the fuck happened here What was that? M1. Who? <laughs> okay, what was that? It could have picked me up, man. My bids are missed by $2 or what? Let me check it out. Sorry, sorry, one minute. Give me one minute. No, my bids didn't get. What was that? Someone bought here very quick. Ooh. Okay. That, that is also good. No worries. Mm, supply is absorbed here. So now good, good thing here. That in future it will not give me a problem. Okay. Good reaction in this zone. No. Look. Very good. Good, good. No worries. No worries. Come here. Pick us with yourself. And then give us this kind of reaction. So another trade mm, first trade is this one long here i'm looking for long here with a tight invalidation with tight invalidation risk is also higher so look at this and uh, for our trade it is but reward is higher 
and if you go with this invalidation this is not a two or trade as well so i go with the tight risk <laughs> tight invalidations clear invalidation so it gave me high rr i am looking for higher RR. so there are chances that i get stopped out and then price can go up so i will mm, bet again on it no worries risk is like uh, i know my risk one percent not going up so yes i uh, do something like this so yes first target internal liquidity and this one as well so for for overall for our trade it is but the second trade i will take on bnb will be a short here when it deviates back here i will target this liquidity Two side liquidity so these are the two setups on bnb looking very promising and being in front of you guys look how bnb reacted here so yes hopefully it goes something like this something do something like this and this zone is whole if you saw on weekly time frame my internet is not looking good i don't know why so i bought bnb here somewhere here okay fuck it so if you saw that these all sr zones this one these all sr zone and th this is the resistive zone so i want it's too much messy chart i will remove this also this so it look clear i want on daily if you see that this is a wick this is only a wick let me show you this week so what i want from bnb is that go sweep this week let me remove this sweep this week and then give me a, a deviation here that will be a short how oh, let me show you this phenomena on another chart that is Mm, on ETH, on ETH, same phenomena is going on. If you saw H4, look at this sweep, and then we had a MSV here. So sweep, something like this sweep here, have given me MSV. I will then short it. So same phenomena. Uh, I'm warned from BNB here on red list so that's why these are my two trades on BNB one is like uh, donk first one I want a long hair which is risky 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 as well so no, no worries I will keep eye on it and then I want a deviation above here that will be my swing long targeting this liquidity or might be this order block towards 270 so yes this is bnb keep eye on it this is look this chart looks so good now coming back to the injective 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 everyone is i don't know okay some of my friends says this is haram coin don't trade it uh, i say okay mm, this is a range this is injective range so again again injective is doing in its own thing so if you saw that there was a um, inverted head and shoulder also here this what so we break it this zone and then we retest it on this demand here we are going up we retest it 0 0.5 so this zone is my final target so injective whoever asked me for injective i will say that look impulsive move here this one we had impulsive move here then we have deviations below uh, we ranging here then we had a deviation here in this zone then we we created msv again we came back to the order block here this one 
fully shot up block we observed absorbed it uh, properly then now going up so yes this is my final target here uh, on ing this one uh, and uh, 0.5 level is holding so if you are watching it your target is this one now it's up to you find some entry here exact here on this zone and target it because these lower zone are already absorbed so i don't see that price will come back if i see m15 if i give you m15 structure or one hour structure i will upload this video then it will take time so not a worth i don't think so it's worth much here but yes one thing i it's clear that this is your target if you go long on market as well with a stop here that will give you 1.6 are not good or are let me check m15 if something is and any other levels okay monday high is here let me show you something this is monday high keep this monday high in mind now i show you something here on last night i did with eat this i'm going with m5 m5 will be a clear this is monday high here look it broke down broke out then came back again broke this high created bos here after creating bos you find proper order block so m3 order block it was here our monday high is your entry something like this it will be clear in validation and my target was around here 0 0.5 mid range somewhere here so 25 90 was my target huh yeah this one 4.5 hour trade it was so on ing if you saw some thing like this and if broke out bus created and look at these candles if candles are like this they are not coming down very quickly slowly they are bleeding slowly slowly it came down then someone buying it then slowly bleeding you will see a good reaction here in this zone okay so that in on ing now i will show you that uh, where is ing plan could be something like uh, this come here come down go up here and then come to retest this will be your bus that will be your entry and the recent low will be your invalidation point what will be your target your target will be previous day high as well and you can target this one so lower the invalidation higher will be your risk reward ratio so if i say this is your invalidation point here so seven or eight hours so it's a good trade i will also keep eye on it it's look it looks good and uh, hopefully this m15 uh, sorry m5 demand and daily open hold here uh, go up and create some kind of this phenomena here our previous day high and you can target because you have clear target so ing yes if you catch something here above monday high catch it other than that there is nothing in ing next one is rendi rndr Ooh. bleeding m1 bleeding h1 h4 so h4 is good to take <laughs> In last uh, art analysis video, I told you that it, this structure should be hold, otherwise RNDR is going to die. And MSB created here, we created a bearish order block, this one. No, bearish order block. So we created bearish order block, we tapped there and then it is going down. 
right now taking some good reaction let me check some range here if we find some range this is internal liquidity high and this is low hmm the chances are that this this, this 4.6598 should be tabbed if i check from this zone look at this one this one is promising here so yes we tapped and now we are retesting 0 0.5 level if bitcoin behaved and it goes up something like this then you can long until unless don't long r and dr this is your equilibrium level 0 0.5 level so it will create mess here not looking good chart as well so avoid it ing bnb good two coins now next one is dydx <coughs> dydx dydx what's going on with dydx mm, no structure why is good msb created here If some kind of coin didn't give me a proper uh, clear uh, structure, I don't trade those shits. Now look at this one. We have order block here. This is our bullish order block, okay. Uh, with fair value gap here, <laughs> MSB created. Uh, This is breaker, breaker that it is going up towards uh, this supply zone. Bearish order block. Now, this is intraday trading. If you saw that, if you oh. saw that, uh, this is a liquid here. One tap swept again retest here dydx so invalidation here but it is risky I don't know why but it looks scary <laughs> to be honest and target this one and liquidity is generating here look at this liquidity this liquidity generating here so if we tagged here and then go back to this order block i will be very good and confident on longing this because i have a clear invalidation here below low what will i target i will target remove this shit remove every other shit i will target this internal liquidity zone this one so yes this one so that's look good other than that i'm not uh, into it right now everything is pumping i don't know what's going on in market there is news or something i don't know bnb bnb let me check my chart bnb don't do this fill me up okay back to topic next is woo who asked me for woo woo woo? Woo. This is a range again at range highs. Uh, should I consider this as range high now? Okay, let me consider this one. This also looks good. And range low here okay this bos created here this is this one my first bos it means price will go up <laughs> this was my h4 bullish order block mm, okay 
price came from that week on Bitcoin. Then created internal structure. Same, it held it that uh, beautifully. It held it uh, like uh, um, order block good, and it is going up towards there. So it can might be a three tap structure. It is going on to be built or what? Um, this one, two, and one more three three tap here. Feels feels like a three tap structure here. Yeah. Like something like this. But why to short? No need of shorting. No need of shorting. But feel like it's a three tap structure is in making. So let me check uh, some other things here. Oh. it will go up towards this zone 4990507 but structure is not good pump and dump pump dump pump dump pump dump pump it is going up dump pump dump pump and if you if i understand it let me check some levels yearly open is it is above Monday. It broke out Monday high, but didn't retest it. Previous day high is testing here. Scalp long shorts will be from this zone. Scalp shorts. I am not asking for looking for like proper shorts. No scalp shorts. Scalp shorts means go up here, sweep quickly come down and retest it that retest entry that will be your stop loss and this daily open is your target that is called scalp short something like this a quick 10 20 minute trade and you out because structure is bullish so lower the invalidation higher the rr and same goes with that okay other than that, I don't see anything good on it. Okay, next, next, next. Phil, I just checked um, this and we are talking in uh, in uh, Discord stop chat. Uh, so I told them what is going on and what will be any good coin. So they told me that we have Phil in our radar. So I marked it. Okay, go ahead. I said okay let me check so we had internal range creation here good MSB this was a good MSB here and we had a demand and this above level is a previous week low so my plan to if you say that if you are looking for long now two invalidations you have you have this one and this one it's up to you which one you want to invalidate personally i will see this one the good invalidation tight tight invalidation entry here but uh, entry it came here and go up quickly and reclaim 0 0.5 once it reclaim 0 0.5 then this is your target clean setup it is fill and like it is 20 percent move so keep this is this into your um, watch list as well other than that nothing looks good on it i didn't saw anything and i saw another thing was a puc puc is also lining straight above h4 order block so it's also a healthy structure here see CCC say hmm. I think I mm, mentioned this coin 
uh, or I already analyzed it it's somewhere that's why these these markings were there that is your bullish demand uh, order block structure shifted here so I think I, I was talking to them like shift structure here demand will be created here that will be your earned entry so if you saw h1 yes that was a clear structure break by the way very good structure break look at this structure break that demand that is not order block uh, you will consider this as order block look this it reacted it but that was a demand here we have this demand if you saw properly on h2 h2 is clear that was order block here it failed and then turn as a breaker but that was a proper demand because bearish, uh, bullish order block was there we had this sr level so yes it worked beautifully i will mark it as a demand not an order block test it beautifully this target hit then test it and it is going up again so it is bullish msb bus again bus internal structure break here so if i see h3 clear structure h4 will be a good structure True. where is ote optimal entry zone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yes trend line I already explained it to you this structure break this is bullish order block demand and again demand created order block created here with uh, this OTE 0.62 level is working here but if you if market did book raise so that will be a long year that is any other level here we didn't have any level here so right now it is at Monday high. So this will be a good once. Uh, don't put stop here. Our previous week open my test it. No stop will be here. But when H four closes below this trend line, close this trade. Don't long it then. So say it is also looking good. Ing BNB and now say. Sorry, the other one, which one was render or D by DX? It was I don't fail. Sorry, fail. Next one, OD, 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 OD. What is this? What is this behavior? Okay, 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 okay. I don't know why I marked this, but uh, structure. I think this structure shifted here, so I marked this OTE zone for short and for longs. This was my uh, demand here, so I want <coughs> there a structure break here bullish structure break here and then i will target this zone highs so and here is the liquidity is also building this one so yes if price uh, yes this is a good plan by the way i didn't i thought i have i if i make a plan then i have a limits here so i think i place some bids here and then came down something like this i am expecting like this uh, go up here pink and then give me a bullish structure here then i don't so hopefully i think i'm expecting an entry here i don't know let me check 
I will check whether my entries are here. I have one entry here, second entry here, something like that because it's a messy. Mm. Where is that triangle? Mm. Something like this. Break above here and then come down. I think I'm thinking about this like something like this. One entry here, second here. That will be average entry to 3.787 and then go down. Easy invalidation. And if it came down straight here, then I will look for long here. OD. Okay, it is in my red list. So I think I have made plan already. Let's see how things will turn out. Okay, BNB already done. And I think it is front running me. Don't do this here. Sorry for those cook. I don't know what to say, but BNB is front running me right now. I have to make some plan on it. Later I will see. Uh, next one is S Y N. S Y N. Who? Who asked me for S Y N? I don't like uh, analyze these types of coins because look at these coins. I don't understand their behavior actually. I am a day trader, technical trader, so I want technical things in a chart. But in this type of uh, coins, you don't need technical things. You need pure luck and info, inside information. Look at this, uh, bleeding, 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 bend up, 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 and go up. So this is your, I will give you important levels, this is mark this level with yourself this is very important level launching level universal level we call this mm, on h4 structure wise it is good bullish it is here is your ote zone in this zone you can mark your entry zones you can take bullish entry here and that is your order block as well here so i will mark this order block here with ote combining here one entry here second here your stop will be should be below here and you can target these highs this one Sorry, this one, these targets, and I will see if there's anything behind here. We already took this internal liquidity. So these are the equal highs here. The main target will be this one. If I consider this as range or oh, range, I don't think. This one will be your final target. If it came down and it uh, like uh, again breached this, then it will go down. And only this structure looks good. Higher highs are creating. Uh, let me check. Okay. Okay, so still no NPUC here. Yes, only in this zone NPUC is here. So yes, S Y N. Whoever asked me, so um, if suppose entry and we have forty three, forty four percent move here, zero point five x. It is, and if we go for higher target, then it is zero point seven x. So good, 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 good. 
invalidation is clear here this one i will mark it your invalidation here as this red line is your invalidation if so only two coins remaining i will wind up if uh, oh interesting interesting interest thing this at meme line liquidity anything else going higher higher highs this was a demand here daily demand then new higher high created this one was a daily demand and then new higher high created this higher high created so this was a demand and we are actually above demand this is uh, right now this demand daily demand here this one small demand here if is bullish yes it is but but what where should we enter and where should we exact that's the problem that is the fucking problem right now oh. okay let me mark range remove everything now you know that everything so i will mark now range here okay we swept we created a range range low swept target one was uh, this 0 0.5 and then the one is your optimal last target so now structure is shifted yes structure shifted msb created here properly msb should be here this one was msb but uh, structure wise on a daily time frame it is bullish so i will consider this as a bullish msb here let's be here mm, this one and then demand here this is demand like h12 demand it is i think it will be h12 demand i don't have that uh, extra time frame so you can check it on binance it should be an h1 demand and i will mark OTE now for entry so it is an OTE as well so hold here you can go up other than that you are coming down towards remove this so I can understand look at Monday range what the fuck 4% Monday range okay Okay, okay, now it's clear for me. Remove this because we have very important level up there. This MSB level is your uh, yearly open level. So yearly open is very important. This one. So until unless price is below here, we are bearish. Once wait for it to come down, H reclaim on H4. From here, you can target this one. Something like this. Come in, observe, absorb this demand. Come here, give me a break here on 0 0.5 level. Good break up here, and then retest previously in a sorry yearly open. That will be your entry. Your exit will be somewhere here, and that will be your target. Other than that, because yearly open is up here and it rejected quite heavily from yearly open, so I will not bid here. Only I will bid if price came up here and if it reclaimed the yearly open. Other than that, nothing for me on if. I had time frame I already showed you. So GTO, again, who told me for GTO? Leave GTO alone, bros. GTO. If you are the real lover of GTO, you can follow Ahmed on it. He is the father of GTO. Hmm. Nothing, 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 nothing.
what should I say on GTO? Okay. I will avoid GTO because structure structure wise it is bullish. Higher high created, new higher high created here. Demand is here again creating new demand here. So it is structure wise bullish, and I will mark you a targets here. If you are long on it, internal liquidities I will mark for you. These are your internal liquidities. These are the targets. So you can target these uh, internal liquidities. They will be taken out. Uh, other than that, I am not interested in GTO. Oh yes, near final coin of the day. It is near and near. Mm, look at my. I think I give this trade to someone and he is fucked up on this one. Sorry, bro. Whoever asked me for this one. this was the range yes sitting on range low again and the way it is coming down i feel like feels like it will go up quickly yes feels like it will go quickly up we are in bullish order block and we have MSB here range low sweep pre test is going on sweep sweep didn't hold it look this was a sweep here retest again deviation deviation and now again retesting here so near if h1 gives me a structure shift and it already did this one bos is here Look at this liquidity build up here. These equal highs. And the way it is coming down slowly. So I feel like near will go up quickly. Very quickly. And if you play a full range here. That is a good RR trade. We pre-tested on 3.212 first target, second target. Yes, this is this one was the last one from me. And let me check Bitcoin if uh, what's going on. Bitcoin 5.95. It is coming down. Okay. So we have two plans. Plan one and plan two plan two is this one so yes it is coming down hopefully it it came down here and or uh, take this <clears throat> bullish order block here and then go up and give me entry that is good rr trade here so yes i will wait here and then I will watch one last time my BNB orders which uh, red list BNB 313 so I am waiting from last night here BNB is doing fuckery with me I don't know who the fuck look at this 306 is my entry and 306.36 is my entry and 308 from like 1.5 dollar it is front running me don't do this. Don't do this. BNB, don't do this. Please. Come down. Pick me up and hit my stop. At least hit, hit me. But don't front run. So here is my chart. Um, on BNB. My trade idea. Everything I have which I seen. And whatever knowledge I have. I put it on chart. And 
told you the different like give you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve ideas out of twelve i think i am looking for four or five personally as well so yes if you follow these plans inshallah you will make something out of it these are higher time frame mm, higher time frame plans like h4 plan so they will take time and only for making money on this plan you had to be a patient you should have patience if you don't have then you will not you will mess up with things if your entry is triggered then wait for your plan to play it out wait for chart wait for look for chart don't be stupid and fearful uh, okay guys enough for my side uh hopefully market gives you good opportunities if i saw something quickly then i will post in my discord uh, as a uh, trade and on twitter i will post a chart on it so from them from me i will ending stream here thank you guys for tuning in till last if you didn't subscribe subscribe it and uh, like the video share it as well it is free free of cost guys thank you love is